Hello everybody. Welcome to my channel, I only know Americano. And well, like and subscribe. Um and leave a comment down below um for more videos and well let's get into the video. So today's video is going to be about the strong and mighty AMX well let me do this and then I'll tell you what tank it is. It's an AMX something. It's the AMX MLE 449. So yeah, if you hear background noise, that's because we just got chicks yesterday. Um, so yeah, if you hear that, you know what it is. Um, but, yeah, so this tank is quite strong. It's, you know, if you want it, if you like this video and you want it, you think, well, this looks like a good tank. There's a tech tree version that I think is kind of stronger because it has stronger uh, um, armor on the front. It is, of course, the tiger, too, or the king tiger, which, yeah, it's basically the same because I believe it, yeah, it has the same alpha as this tank, um, and, uh, yeah, it, it has about the same armor. So, let's get into a battle here. Uh, the armor, it, it's good, it's decent, it's about the thickness of, like, it, it, it's tricky like the black prints to penetrate. It's kind of like, if you saw those side flaps sticking out and kind of angled, yeah, it's tricky to penetrate those. I mean, pin, you can pin the turret easily, you can pin the cupola very easily, but yeah. So, we are on Port Bay, uh, and yeah, that's Port Bay. Let's get into this battle, if it loads. It usually takes a while to load, but that's not a problem, because we are in the battle. Now, we will, of course, be pushing that way. Well, we are not pushing that way. Never mind. Our team didn't want to. Oh. So I can guess that this KV3 is probably a noob. Um, judging that he's just sat there the whole game. The whole 40 seconds the game has gone by. But, um, yeah. This tank has that standard alpha that almost... Oh, okay, Wargaming. But, um, has that standard 310 alpha that lots of heavies get at tier 8, uh, aim, 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 yes, um, it has the same alpha as the Tiger 2, it has the same alpha as, uh, the KV-5, the KV-4, you know, um, just those average heavies that you see in everyday battles. Now, this gun is quite accurate. I don't carry a lot of premium ammo because you don't need it. Oh, well, because your gun is fairly accurate. Like the, these shots I've been getting off on the Tiger. We want to get rid of that Defender because, yeah. And I can not believe that they are scared of me. One tank, and I have scared them off. Woohoo! That was a good shot, and he is still flaming. 700 damage by a fire. I feel bad for him. Well, gonna try to penetrate you. Oh, well. We will give him a little ram, I guess. Boop! Ha ha. And only took 5 damage in return. Oh, okay, Wargaming. Another okay Wargaming moment. Because, yeah. Okay, Wargaming. Boom, yep, there we go. And then we probably will finish this guy off. Unless I get finished off. Or that. Oh, well, yeah. He got finished off. But yeah, this tank I have such a strong win rate in. Because it, it literally can has the power to stand off against four enemy tanks. You can see I stood off against the Tiger 2, the Hellsim Raven, the RU-251, and, of course, the Defender Mark 1. I. I don't know if that was 5. Might have been 4. I don't really know. 2,164 damage. Only a third class. So that should tell you how much damage people do in this tank. 
it's quite the good tank. Um, I got it with the uh, Chimera. It usually comes in bundle with the Chimera, the AMX, and the K AMX M4. Or it usually comes with the um, E75 TS um, with the legendary camouflage. And it also comes with the AMX. But we will get into one or two more battles. I don't know. We are good on time, so we can probably do two more battles. And, well, yeah. We will wait for it to put us in a battle. But, yes, okay. Um, Yamato Harbor. I often get Port Bay and Yamato Harbor mixed up, so that's kind of funny. And we got Port Bay and Yamato Harbor, Harbor because they both have boats that are parked and they both have flying glitches for small tanks. But, yes. Oh, well, I guess this has the agree, but, you know. Uh, so, hopefully we spawn on the side closest to the Yamato because that would be nice. Um, there is actually one side that's closer. Yes. But the closer side. Because the where I'm aiming my gun is usually where the enemy team spawns, which if you think we spawn just right there. And so yeah, it's a closer trip to the Yamato. So that means we should be winning this uh attack on the Yamato. Uh put my gun up in the air and boop. Yep. There we go. Nice, quick snapshot, and we're back into cover, and we are already loaded with another shell. Well, oh my goodness, Annihilator, stop it. Please, 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 please. Annihilator, stop it. Well, we will be pinning that shot on his Kapula. Yep. You don't, you don't even really have to say that you maybe penetrate a shot. You always penetrate the shots. So, you know, I'm going to help our mediums get some nice sniper shots maybe off on the cdc dracula rt71 um but yeah okay that panther 2 is dealing with the, well i guess i don't have to go up there i can just go boop and there we go there's an enemy dead already um which is quite nice this alpha is quite the nice alpha. Well, okay. Well, that shot we aren't going to talk about. We will put on, um, uh, I was going to say gun rammer, but we are, oh, already have gun rammer on. We need adrenaline. So we will put on adrenaline. Boom. And now this IS-3 is already a one shot. Yeah, there, there you go. And then the RHM is probably um, AFK. But, you know, this is already two victories that we have in this guy, the AMX, and, yeah, our final battle will probably be a victory, too, because this tank is, well, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, you, you don't want to come up against it. I got left on, uh, a thousand hit points, one thousand hit points. And I was dealing with all the heavies. I got a few ricochets, which is always nice. And, well, since we are approaching this guy, we don't want our gun in the air. Yep, there we go. Just before the Annihilator can get his final shot out, we killed him. Yeah, that that's how accurate this gun is. Like, usually, no other gun would be able to do that. But, this gun, having... That amazing alpha and the crazy accuracy and the amazing penetration, all those piled up together makes one great tank. We will get into one more battle here. And so yeah. Oh, we're bottom tier now. But that that's fine. That is bueno, that is perfectly bueno because we are still probably gonna win this game. Because we have a K91, a EXP me. And we're going up against a conk. Oh. Okay, Wargaming. A conk, K91, and M103. And we only have one top tier heavy. Oh, boy. Yeah, we are 
we are, yeah, we're going to lose this. Let me tell you that. We are going to, we are going to lose this. Um, which is, well, perfectly fine. Because we did, of course, get two victories out. I like to do this with the AMX. It just looks menacing. Menacing. If you have your gun pointed in the air. Looks nice. Um, but, yeah, so here we go. Oh, wow, the Jagdtiger was pushing. I would have hit that shot, honestly. If I shot that Jagdtiger, it would have pinned. It would have pinned, it would have done damage. Because it is, of course, the mighty AMX. Yeah, you aren't going to get your shells out. Nope. Ooh, Jagdtiger. Boom. Well, I guess that isn't the... Uh, the tier 9 Yak Tiger. They only have tier 9 heavies. I was thinking that was the tier 9 Yak Tiger. That's why I wanted it out of the game. But we, it, it was, it's still a deadly tank to come up against, if you do think about it. Because they are, the Yak Tigers are honestly one fascinating tanks. Now, hopefully, getting off uh, one shot. Yeah, there we go. And hopefully getting, well, actually killing this guy right here. <laughs> we might be stuck here. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That was not fun. That was not fun. Yep, we are going to get stuck here. Let me tell you that. Oh, wow. I hit this gun. That, that was impressive. And it pinned. Well, I need help. Oh, I did, didn't realize that he was that low HP, you know. And, well, that T-49 is running away. I thought he was still behind me, but apparently not. But, yeah, we... I thought we were going to lose this. No. This tank carries. Let me tell you that. Do we have to move? No, we don't. Yep, there's another lovely shot off. And we will put on adrenaline here. Boop. Oh, well. I thought maybe we were going to get a nice shot off on that T-49, but apparently not. Uh, Ooh, doggy. Oh, well, there he goes. And, well, I will probably kill this guy, too. Boom! Oh, well, Shadow killed him. That's fine, because we did get three kills. And about 2k damage, I think. Uh, 2k? I don't know. But, yeah, you could see there... This AMX is extremely strong. The other AMX is... Ooh, a second class. Um, the other AMX is not that much strong, like the Tier 8 Tech Tree one. But this one is quite the strong tank. We were able to pull out three victories all in a row. I actually don't know what my win rate in this tank is. Probably quite high. Um... Victories, well, let's see, where's my win rate? Okay, 55%. That's not, that, that's not that bad. That's not, honestly, not quite bad. I've already, uh, whoa. I didn't realize I've already done 14 battles in the crown box. What? 21 defeat? 11, 21 victory. But yeah, so, this video was here to show you guys this strongness of the AMX M449. I believe its full name is, yeah, AMX M4 MLE 49. So, yes, this tank is extremely strong. Well, I'm El Nino Americano. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Well, let me, let me figure out how to stop this. Yeah, okay. Well, there we